Hey guys, today we're going to do a real quick one. We're going to do probability. And what I mean by probability is we're going to use a randomizer, but we're going to make it so one outcome is more likely than another. Or we're going to work on probability to say one outcome is more probable than another. Okay, so I'm going to use two different OR gates here with different number of inputs. And then I'm going to wire my randomizer to it like so. Notice that my randomizer is set to all six of these things here, but four of them are for that top OR gate. And it's going to do one at a time as per the one at a time pattern settings. So when we watch here, we should see the top OR gate light up about twice as often as the bottom one because there are twice as many inputs. Okay, so we're going to drop it down and make it go a little faster, and we're going to observe what's going on here. Okay, and now you could do whatever you may want to do with this. So I could wire it to this light right here, which would make it be on about twice as, off, twice as more often as it would be off. Okay, and this has some nice applications, which we're going to talk about in just a second. So let's clean up here and hover down and see what we've got down here. So here we have a nice little scene. We're trying to go for a creepy ambiance, so let's drop the, or let's raise the darkness up a little bit, and then let's increase our fogginess to get it a little darker in here. Okay, so we drop in, and it's kind of, it's kind of spooky, kind of, kind of scary, but it could be better. This light right here, it's not doing a whole lot and it has a lot of potential. So let's get out of circuit board and see if we can't use this probability stuff to help us make this a little creepier, a little more exciting of a scene. So I'm going to use my randomizer again, and I'm going to drop that down. And I'm going to use two OR gates, one of them which will have six inputs, and one of which will have two. Now for those of you math mathematically inclined, you could argue that I could have used four and one for my OR gates and it would have the same ratio, but I like the results that I get out of six and two, so I'm going to go ahead and recreate that here. And then I'm going to drop my minimum time to zero and my maximum on time to 0.3. So I do this because I set the on time and off time to be different so that sometimes it switches instantly and sometimes there's a 0.3 second or 3 tenths of a second delay. And then I'm going to use this directional combiner, which in the last video we talked about was like subtraction. But here we're taking signals of either 100% or zero. So all I'm using it for is to convert this into either positive or negative. So you'll see it switching between the positive and negative there. Okay. So what we're going to do is pull out a timer here. And then we're going to wire the directional combiner to it. Oops, missed. Now, so what's happening now is this is trying to either count up or count down once I get the settings set up correctly. So we'll set it to 4 and 4 and directional. So now watch that timer. It's mostly up, but sometimes it dips down a little, and then it, sometimes it dips all the way down. But for the most part, it's almost all the way up. So let's wire this to our light, and then tweak our light to make sure that it's input type is dimmer. And that's what's giving us this nice uh, kind of flicker on and off deal. It makes, give, makes the scene a little more exciting and adds a little more depth to it and makes it a little spookier. But we don't have to stop there. We can use our subtraction that we learned last time. So I've pulled out a directional combiner and I'm going to use a 100% battery. Let me move this over and then put the battery in our positive and wire the timer to our negative. So we're going to take 100 minus whatever the input from the timer is. So most of the time we're going to get no signal, but sometimes we're going to get a very small signal. So when the light goes dim, we're going to get a small signal, and it would be nice if we could match that up to a sound. So let's pull out our electric speaker here, place that down, and use the electrical current. 
If you listen to that, it's got a nice electrical current sound. And if we place that and wire to it, let's see what we get. Okay, so notice it's set to on off right now. So it turns on and it turns off and it's not very exciting when we do that. But if we make it modify volume as our input action, we can listen to our, the effect that we get. So let's listen closely. So notice that the dimmer the light gets, the greater the sound is, which creates this nice little flickering electrical discharge effect. And it really kind of brings the scene together and makes it uh, a bit more spooky. So let's review. We're using probability, using OR gates. So then if one OR gate has more inputs than the other one, then it's more likely to take that input and or it's more likely to distribute the output than the other one. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. That was it.